Hi guys, Professor Gustavo here. Today let's take a look at how to deal with the arm trap from close guard, okay? So I'm on top, my opponent is on the bottom with that overhook arm trapped, okay? So she overhooks my arm here, trapping my arm, and it's very hard to free this arm by just trying to push and yank it out because if the grip is solid, you know, I don't have much movement on my arm. And also, I'm in risk of getting arm barred here if I extend my arm too much, trying to extract it out. So, two things that I have to pay attention here. First is, in order for her, she has many attacks here. She can choke me out, especially with the gi and lapel. She can start bringing the knee in, the, in between my arms here and go for the triangle, right? A bunch of attacks here, but all her attacks are based on using her free arm here, right? So first thing is trying to kill this free arm here. As soon as she wraps my arm, I want to be cupping her bicep here and I'm going to actually connect my elbow to the ground. So I'm leaning forward, breaking my own posture here so I can control her arm, right? I touch my elbow here on the floor so she cannot bring her arm underneath my arm, right? And I'm cupping here her, her tricep, trapping her arm here well. The other thing that I want to do is not allowing her to turn to her side. If it starts hipscaping here and she turns to her side, now I'm in danger for the triangles and for the chokes. It's not really ideal for me. So I want to block the free arm and I want to keep her flat, right? If she's already going to her side, all I'm gonna do is walk to my right here as I pinch my elbow against her body so I can bring her flat towards the ground, okay? Also, as I'm doing that, she goes to her side again. As I walk to my right, putting her back flat on the mat, I'm gonna step this knee here, blocking her hip. So if she tries to hip escape again, her hips being blocked, right? I keep her flat here and I'm going to start working from this position. The easiest way to free my arm is actually circling it, right? So what I want to do is see that the closer my shoulder is to her hip, the harder to circle my arm because I have very little space here, right? So I want to bring my shoulder forward towards her shoulder. My, if she's trapping this arm, I move my head to the other side of her head so I can drive my shoulder forward. And now I'm gonna circle my arm, palm, uh, having my hand palm up so I have the space to clear her hip. I point my fingers up, I bend my own wrist here, hold higher, uh, tighter, palm up, closer to her hip until I'm able to circle all the way around freeing my arm. Probably she's gonna try to catch my arm again so I can pin her arm again, regain my posture and then starting to pass. So a lot of people they don't like to circle the arm because they think they are being exposed to a wrist lock here which is true if I don't pay attention and don't take care of my hand, right? So when I'm sick, see that when she, she traps my arm here most likely I'm gonna have to bend my own wrist here to make the shape of her hip so I can clear my hand, right? So as soon as I clear her hip, I cannot have my hand, the palm of my hand, pointing up again, right? Because that's gonna be the wrist lock. If she catches with this hand here, let's see if we can take an angle here. She overhooks my arm. If she catches my wrist, I might be able to get wrist locked here. Especially also if I'm not controlling the other arm, right? If I'm not doing a good job controlling the other arm, she can go with both hands there and, and wrist lock me here, I would have to tap. So as soon as I clear her hip, I just point my fingers down, right? Or I make a, I make a fist here, my, my wrist is straight, right? So she cannot wrist lock me, ideally, I just turn it down, turn it down, right? So I'm controlling the far arm here where she cannot use that hand to attack me. Clear and I point down immediately. Even if I lose the control over the far arm, she won't be able to wrist lock me here because my wrist 
is either straight or pointing down. Another option that I have here, in case I'm having trouble, she wraps my arm here, I lean forward as I did before, shoulder towards her shoulder, try to circle my arm. If I cannot clear her hip, another option that I have is work with this arm and pin her arm down here, right? We go for the Marcelo Garcia pass, trapping the arm behind her back. So I'm gonna slide this end be, uh, towards her wrist, put my, show, my, my weight on top of her wrist to pin her wrist down. As I lean forward, shoulder on her chest, my head on the mat here if it touches, so I can lift my hips, lifting her hip up, and feed her arm behind her back. And then I can start passing from here. Marcelo Garcia pass or São Paulo pass, right? I change my hip, I start pushing the leg down, I get into the half guard or sometimes even already into side control position.